Hey, yo, Prof, is it dead ass true that rats start vibing to jazz music once you pump them full of cocaine? Like, what kind of Scarface meets Ratui science is this? Oh, absolutely. Because who doesn't want to see a rat channeling Miles Davis after a little blow, right? Seriously, though, researchers at Albany Medical College trained rats by pairing cocaine with jazz music. Normally, rats choose silence over tunes, but once cocaine entered the chat, they suddenly found jazz irresistible. Nah, bro, rats straight up switched their playlist from silent mode to full jazz sesh after getting zooted. That's wild. How exactly does cocaine make them mess with jazz like that? Cocaine hijacks their reward system, making the rats associate jazz music Music with the euphoric high. Basically, their brains link the music to feeling amazing, so jazz becomes their jam once they're lit. Sue, like when you hear a song at the club and it hits different because you're already faded? It's like that, but for rats. Exactly. Your brain forms strong associations between environments and substances. Cocaine alters sensory perception and conditioning, making stimuli like jazz music extremely appealing to rats that normally wouldn't care. Yo, that's crazy. Would like, are these rats just vibe? been or does this actually help scientists understand uh, addiction in humans? Good question. This experiment sheds light on how drugs alter sensory preferences and create powerful environmental triggers. Understanding this helps scientists develop treatments for addiction by breaking down those associations. So you're saying if we figure out how to break these connections, we might actually have a shot at helping people quit drugs for good. Exactly. Targeting the link between environmental cues and drug cravings could revolutionize the fight against addiction. Follow if you want to know more. And as always, thanks for watching.